how to get started and install the required software for the 3D stereo camera. That's what I want to explain you now. My name is Fabian and I'm the product manager for 3D Vision at Balov. Besides the 3D camera and the PC to process the data on, equipped with a graphic card, you need some specific software libraries installed on the PC. These software libraries are called SGM Producer. This is a convenient um, software layer that enables you to easily access 3D data from the camera with a third-party li library, a third-party application like Helcon, like OpenCV or Vision Pro, any sort of standard compliant um, software to do image processing. How to get this SGM Producer software libraries? For that, you just navigate to the Balof website and go to the respective product page by typing in the search field your uh, Balof product number or just navigate to the 3D stereo camera. In the download section, you will find the software library SGM Producer. Download that and extract the, the content. You will see that the content exists of different um, folders because we have the SGM producer library for different operating systems like Linux, like Windows or also embedded systems. In my case, I have a Windows system here. I have a Windows PC and therefore I have extracted the file, just the SGM producer Win64 version. It doesn't matter if you extract it to the documents folder like I did or directly on the hard drive on the C location. Um, it doesn't matter where, it, where it's located. If you look inside this folder, you will see a bunch of libraries. Also, you will see a manual of the SGM producer that is also explaining you how to install it and how to make use of it. But we'll do that um, just live now. And you will see the actual SGM producer file. This one needs to be registered in the environment label variables of our system, of our PC. How to do that? That's what I want to show you. Before we can make use of the tools, we need to do that step first. Therefore, just click on the Windows sign and type ENV for the English version, environment variables. Then you need to have administrator rights to do that. After typing in your administrator password, you will be able to change the environment variables of the system. We are mainly interested in two variables. One is the GenICam GenTL64 path variable and one is the path variable. We are looking at the system variables and not on the user variables. In both variables, we need to um, enter the path of the SGM producer that contains this file. Let's start with the path. I already added this path here, as you can see. And also in the GENICAM GENTL path variable, we need to add the very same path to refer to the SGM producer location. Also, we need to add percent %path% percent to refer to the path variable where we put in this path before. That's just to have the correct dependencies and is only needed on um, Windows and not on, on Linux. After doing that, we are good to go and we can use the SGM producer out of third-party libraries, out of our application or just in the example applications we provide here as well. One is um, for calibration. This is needed if you change the focus of the lens and adapt the camera to your working distance, then you need a, um, another 3D calibration. Or if you want to check the general status of the connection of the camera. And we also provide a 3D viewer. That is just a basic viewer to, to show you some point cloud. And you can save also point cloud and 2D data from the camera with this tool. Let's just open the tool. We can connect the camera on file, connect, and choose the correct camera. One hint here, uh, if you have a, a switch in between of the camera and the PC, note that there's only one gigabit um, bandwidth available, so you would need to 
minimize that to lower than 500 um, megabits per second. I don't have this. I have a, I have two separate gigis, um, gigi ports on my PC. That's why I can just use the camera like this. And then it will open and we are able to change some settings of the exposure, time, um, to use an automatic mode or even to use an HDR mode. We can also do some settings on uh, if we need the hardware trigger or if we are just running the camera continuously. We also have a depth uh, setting area where we can do some settings on the use of the projecting unit that is included and in coming with the camera or if we want to have a continuous or single running and also some settings on our use case and our working distance. And of course, we have a 3D representation of the scene. In addition to that, you can also download the latest uh, snapshot or the latest data that you acquired with the store button. Before that, you need to configure your output um, folder where the data needs to be stored. And you can also set if you only want to have the 3D data um, or also the 2D image. Then click on store and you will find the data in your folder. In my case, it's documents, examples, and here are the latest data. That's about an easy installation process of this SGM producer library and about doing some first acquisitions and some first settings. If you want to learn how to get one step ahead and actually use the camera in a third party application, I invite you to, to watch our video where we show you how to include the camera in an Halcon script.